Well, it's it's important to recognize safety in every aspect of our business. And, and with that in mind, uh, we would like to have a symposium safety share uh, that you can uh, access on demand. Uh, this particular safety share I've entitled Go Fever, and I'll give you some of the background on it. NASA's Apollo program was the concept of President John F. Kennedy, and the goal had been to land a man on the moon. And after years of development, uh, the Apollo 1 spacecraft and team were nearing the launch date in 1967. However, during a training exercise, just a few weeks before the planned launch of Apollo 1, three astronauts were in the module when a fire started. And due to the highly oxygenated air in the module, the fire escalated quickly. Uh, the reports noted that within uh, uh, 15 seconds, they went from noticing the fire to the tragic results. And unlike the more well-known Apollo 13 mission, Houston, we have a problem where the astronauts survived. The Apollo 1 mission resulted in three fatalities. The investigation determined that not all safeguards and systems were in order. They weren't ready. However, there was tremendous pressure to launch on the set date. The term go fever was coined by NASA after the Apollo 1 fire in 1967. And in the reports, they reference go fever as a desire to push forward and take chances when marginal or substandard conditions exist. And it was found to be rampant at NASA and was fostered by a macho go hard or go home attitude of both astronauts and management. The NASA situation certainly has parallels with our own industry. The attitude and desire to start a project as quickly as possible has sometimes in the past taken precedent over careful planning of all aspects of a project. Obviously that has to change. However, we do know there's significant pressure by all parties to get performance, to get things started. The go fever situation is often driven or intensified through management, applying pressure to meet a milestone start date. The right message to send is that the project will not commence until we know we can start the project safely. This doesn't reduce the contractor's responsibilities or commitment regarding the program or schedule, but ultimately determines what is best for the project which is the prevention of injuries. For the project to start off on the right foot, to be successful, to achieve zero harm and to pay dividends down the road.